Hey everyone! So I'm back with another studio vlog and this one's gonna be a little bit conjumbled because it's just gonna be from footage that I've taken over the past few weeks and I just have it posted because I didn't feel like I had like one consistent video and so I just kind of been filming more and I was finally able to finish it up this weekend which is why I'm now posting this video and editing it and getting it all up but I want to share with you guys just some things I've been up to so after the release of the Handle with Care collection the first part of it at least I have gotten a few orders and I would say thank you guys so much it really makes me so happy when I get to make these pieces over and over again for you guys and so I was just working on a customer's order. She ordered this sweatshirt and the sweatpants, which is amazing. And so here I am ironing out the silk fabrics that I had dyed in my last previous video. At the end of the video, I had dyed just a few just in just the pomegranate so this is the pomegranate and it was tied up with rubber bands so that there is still some white pieces going through with the yellow and I kind of I really love this this piece of fabric it was beautiful but I just needed to iron it out so that I can start using it and initially I was just going to do um, scrunchies but you'll see in the video later that I ended up making masks with it and this gray one that's above that one is the pomegranate and then it's in the in the iron bath and then it went into the logwood and so it created this beautiful like gray purplish bluish tie-dye effect and I just oh I love it and then I also just dyed some pomegranate just solid on this silk piece just because I wanted just a solid yellow and I think it looks gorgeous honestly pomegranate makes just a beautiful yellow color Hey guys, so I know this video that this is going to be in is going to be kind of random and it's going to be over a long period of time and you can hear my printer in the background if you can. I'm just working on some Christmas cards for an, a wholesale order as well as they'll be on the store so you'll know that it'll be online as well so you can get your Christmas cards for this year. Today is November 3rd. Third, so election day and it's about it's like going almost going on four o'clock pacific standard time so it's kind of a crazy day for me i mean i feel like these past few weeks have been crazy and it's probably why there hasn't been a video that hasn't been going up in the past two weeks it's just life has been crazy if you guys don't know i work full time outside of my shop and we're going into holiday season and so things are just wrapping getting kind of crazy for me but I still want to put as much effort into my shop because this is where I feel like my path is taking to me down and I really want to make this my full-time job making clothing and art that really resonates with me and what I want to bring into the world and so I'm working on it um by liking and sharing and commenting and sharing my website and Instagram with your friends and family it helps so much. I'm just me, so 
putting all that money into marketing is really hard. Um, trying to like work on it, but you know, it's hard when you're one man show, one woman show. But yeah, holiday season is coming. And I just want to say that I'm going to be kind to myself and not overwork myself as much as I want to make thousands of orders. I just know that I physically can't do it. So I'm kind of putting deadlines on certain things in my shop and I will be putting that on my Instagram and I think I'm gonna have an email newsletter kind of talking about that as well where pretty much you kind of have to order apparel before end of November. I think I'm gonna just give that so I have time to get the orders out to you because I do made to order most of the time. So a lot of times it's once you place the order, sometimes I have the blank or the scarf around but sometimes I don't and so I have to order it which then adds on time and I want you guys to get your stuff before Christmas especially if you're gifting them to friends and family and you still have to like ship them yourself and I want to give the post office some time because I feel like they may be a little overworked this holiday season so I'm going to be saying that probably end of the week end of the month of November shirt, shirts and apparel and scarves will then no longer be available on the shop to order and then as it gets closer and closer to Christmas more things will not be available and then that also then allow me to in the new year to kind of revamp the site I'll probably close the site a week or two before Christmas just so that if there's nothing that I'm offering that's like digital or like can ship literally the next day which will probably be pens those will probably be the things that like are the last to be able to ship out like a week before if you still need to get a gift or like stickers or prints that I already have um yeah I just think I'm wanting to be kind to myself but I also want to challenge myself and I want to share my work with you guys and help you be able to sort support me and create things for you guys and so yeah I will have more information on that on my Instagram and in, on my website I think I'll have it very displayed as well as a newsletter will come out with even more information on that and yeah I'm just excited I have like so many ideas and if anything I've learned from this year is that this is the year of learning growth and just all of that so yeah, I thought I would chat on here a little bit just because I feel like there will be a lot of voiceover because I just kind of have some b-roll footage and then doesn't really finish. So I just kind of want to hop on here and chat with you guys a little bit about what's going on, where I've been. Um, yeah, whatever tonight brings, it's, I mean, you guys will already know because it'll be up. I'll probably come back around later and talking about it, but thought I would chat with you guys right before I start sewing. You guys are like propped up on my sewing machine. I'm going to sew some scarves for a wholesale order. And so yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, popping in here again. Um, it is Thursday, 9.05. I'm about to go to work, uh, but I wanted to finish up a wholesale order before I went off to work today. And so that's why you hear the boarding machine going working on some patches. Um, I still can't believe we don't know who's the person. I mean, we know, but like we don't have it finalized who the president is right now. And it's becoming a very anxious week. Um, sorry, I keep messing with my hair, but I haven't had it out in a while. If you haven't noticed, braids are gone. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd just pop in and say hi, um, just so there's like some elements to this video um, I mean I still have to edit it so I don't even know how this is all going to turn out but um, yeah hey guys so um, I think I am going to keep the video footage of me kind of talking about how this is a random vlog video um, because that's initially how this video was going to turn out but I you guys were kind of, let me just hold you for a second. But I kind of shifted. 
So as you guys know, corona cases are skyrocketing and I feel like as I'm not trying to like profit off of everything that's going on, but I want to offer some more masks because I feel like we need to just simply wear a mask and with more cases going up also we should be not even in a reusable one we should be washing them sanitizing them after one use that's the best way to like help not spread or contract the virus so I'm just trying to make more so you guys have more options so you don't feel like you're always wearing the same one over and over again and they're going to be of the same fabric that I usually use for the scrunchies. So yes, they are going to be silk, but I am going to interface them so that they're a little bit thicker. And then I'm also giving you the option to be able to put um, a filter in them. And then I think I'm going to add a nose wire this time because I did make a round of scar uh, masks back in April, May. And then I kind of took a break because as much as they were like great, I just also needed a break from them because there were so many but i'm gonna get back on it because i want to give you guys the option i want more options in masks i feel like i keep wearing the same one over and over again and i'm not giving actually washing them properly so they are still going to be the same fit i'm going to show you guys one this is first round they are going to be a little bit nicer this round I'm just going to say just because i went out and bought some stuff this time instead of just using exactly what I have. Um, so let me show you guys. So this was the mask that I made the first round where I took pretty much a scrap fabric that I had around the house. It does have a opening so that you can put your filter in it or a face guard to make it like more secure. But I think with the with the fusing that I'm going to be putting in this time, it is going to make it a little bit more stiffer. And then I'm going to also put a nose wire up here so that you guys can kind of help shape it to your face. Now the first round I did use scrap um, t-shirt and made strings out of it. I will be using elastic this time so it's a little bit more professional looking and nicer but pretty much this is just the base of what the mask is going to look like. This was a size small and initially I thought I was a size small but now that I'm kind of like reading more and proper use of wearing a mask, I think I'm more of a size medium because this one doesn't actually cover my chin, but I thought that's what I wanted, but I think I want a size medium just for a looser fit, but that just feels a little bit more comfortable, especially for extended periods of time. Like this is fine for like quickly getting something and coming back inside, but to wear them for more extended time, I think a size medium would be best for me. So I'll just show you guys the process. I'm going to just cut up some. I'm going to make prototypes for you guys. All in a size medium. Just so you guys can see the options. And then we'll get them going. These are the scrunchies. They're still being made. So I'm trying to have matching scrunchies with your mask. Which I think is still a cute idea. Um, I'll be finishing it up as well. Um, but so far they are looking very cute. And... I'm super excited and cannot wait for them to be done. And yeah, I'm also going to be using some damaged print fabric that would be scarves, but then there were some damages in them, so I couldn't sell them for scarves. But I think making um, some masks out of them would be really cool and it gets used the design. Um, actually. I think I'm going to wait on these guys first just because these are kind of more be very one-offs and this is the pattern that I'm using. I got it from Poor Will Away. I will link her below and to the mask. I think she still has it available for you guys to purchase but this is the mid-size. I will be offering them in small, medium, and large. <laughs>
Hey guys, okay, so I'm back. I decided not to show you guys cutting all this just because it's very time consuming. But we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve different designs that are going to be coming out. Um, and it will be kind of as available. Um, but I won't let you guys get different sizes. But because these are technically like either like this is like from a damaged print like the print didn't come out full so i'll probably be able to make a few of these but these will all look different because it'll just be wherever the print goes this one will be a little bit more easier to have consistent so as these um i have like very little bit of these guys so those will be kind of as available i can make a lot of these and i feel like you guys are gonna really like these and then these guys should make a be able to few because i was gonna make scrunchies probably I may hold off on the scrunchies just for a while because I feel like masks are a little bit more important. But if you guys do want scrunchies for these too, just comment below and I will probably just make them available for you guys. So now I need to do is because these are silk and not like heavy cotton, except for this one. This one I don't think I'm going to need to put any interfacing in, but I'm going to put interfacing in for all the rest of them so that... Um, they have some shape to them and they kind of stay out of your face a little bit more and will make it like another layer. So it's technically two layers. we be able to put um, a filter inside, but also they'll have this interfacing. So it's technically a third layer. Sorry, you hear my dog in the background. She is wanting dinner time soon. So I'll probably go feed her and then I'll go work on this later. Okay. So I have now put interfacing on the back of the like one side of the mask so that it has just some, some more shape because it is silk, but I do want to have a little bit more shape so it's not just like falling into your face. And then these are pretty much still the ones that are going near your face will not have it so it'll just feel really soft, but more shape. So now I just need to go and start sewing them together. And the first step is to sew the middle seam together and this is like the back side just having it solid so that it can just be easily more focused on this so that, that needs to be sewn together so I just need to go through this whole pile sew the centers together and then I'll come back so I have finished the first mask and oh my gosh it's so pretty like I want to keep this for myself but like I want you guys to get first steps on these so it has the elastic cording, oval elastic cording, and so it's ear loops. You guys are able to put able to put a filter in here or even like a nose wire. I decided not to put wires in them because I wanted to keep the cost a little bit lower just because these are going to be more expensive than the first round I did. So these are going to be selling for $20 for the adult and then $16 for the kids. So I have like limited fabric on these. So I'm kind of only offering one at a time just so that I don't oversell and like leave you guys kind of like out of luck. But oh my gosh, it's so cute. And I'm going to be working on some more. Okay, so I'm just on here to show you guys. This is the natural um, tie dye. That's the pomegranate iron and the. Um, I'll place it here. It's blanking my mind right now, but oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And this is the face mask. These will both be available when this video is uploaded. And just so you know, there's gonna, since I wanna offer both of these, they'll be limited amount and I don't think because I'm doing small medium large for most of these but I don't think I'll offer these in small I'm just gonna offer them for medium and large and then if someone really requests it just like message me that you want a size small and I'll make it but I'm only gonna offer medium and large I think on the website for right now just because I also I think you guys these scrunchies are beautiful and it protects your hair so scrunchies are always great for your hair sand scrunchies so, oh my gosh, so beautiful. 
and I've made, so so far what I've made is this one, this guy, this is cotton, so the silk ones are 20, and small is less just because it is less fabric and it's for a kid. And this one is a cotton silk. We have this one. Oh my gosh, these are looking so pretty. Oh my gosh, so pretty. This was from, I ended up taking the scarf and cutting them. So yeah, this one looks really cool. Then we have this moto guy. This is on silk too. And then... And then we have the tie-dye bleach to tie-dye. So I'm keeping this one for myself because I just really wanted this one. I think I'm keeping this one and this one. I think these are the two ones that I want in part of my personal collection. And I had used it earlier today because I went on a hike with my family. And I ended up putting one of those like little stick-on wire things that you get off of, I know, Amazon. But yeah. I will still link it below for you guys. So I just sticked it in there. Um, it just has adhesive backing and then you just do that, which I think is really great. And like super easy just to kind of bend around the nose. I felt like it was really helpful. Um, and then I'll just show you guys just a few more options that you guys can kind of do with these masks. So, so my mom had found these as well um if you guys are not really wanting them to be near your face the masks this kind of gives it a little bit more structure which i think i'll link these below for you guys too i think it's probably amazon but you know if you know any better places to find these type of things please let me know so hard to do with this one hand but put this inside and it gives it more structure so definitely though it can fall out um so what and even like you can put a filter then in this as well still what i mean i think my mom found saw it somewhere but what she ended up doing is taking a pin because she also takes some of my pins she doesn't take she patrons for me all the time. It's super grateful. If I can get this out, she'll take the pin. Oh my gosh, it's hard to do this with one hand. And she'll kind of like place it in there. I'll come back. Okay, I'm back. So put the pin. I mean, you guys won't even know. So she puts the pen on there and then she puts this on there and then inside. So this side is still fairly fine. And then A, it like adds a whole nother thing to your mask and can make it very unique. But also it's functional, making the pen very functional because it's keeping A, like this little guard thing in. But also if you had a filter, which is a filter on me right now. You can pin that through since the filters are only supposed to be used like once anyways. Put in there and then you've got a filter and then it's you don't have to like worry about how this is open in the bottom. Um, just giving you guys more options and I'll show you guys how it looks like on me. Okay, so this is the face mask on. Like I said, I'm wearing the size medium because I feel like it's a little bit better. I have small ears and fairly small face so that's why normally I was thinking I was a small but I think the medium is better because it protects me down here I mean this part is not necessarily I mean you could technically I guess put like a little tiny pin if you have pins that can go there if I was like really just like anal about how it's shaping around my face I don't care as much I just want it to protect and then I have the nose thing up here to pinch so that my glasses can fit better so I can see and it's not doing anything weird and yeah that's just how it fits around and then this is with the pen so I can feel the pen but like it's not uncomfortable so just so you know I probably would move it up a little bit more but besides that I think this looks really cute 
and I really can't wait to see what you guys do with them. And I'll show you guys without the pen just so you guys can see without the pen. Okay, so I'm back. I took the filter, the like structure thing out. Still have the nose bridge, but I just kind of want to show you guys without the pen and kind of just see how it looks like. Um, yeah, I feel I wore this my whole hike. Usually I like end up like doing this during a hike sometimes, especially if there's no one around. But um, I felt comfortable enough to keep this thing on the whole time. Um, and I feel like I can breathe fine. And that's what I need out of mask. So I know there's like fancier masks that like really stay away from your face. But I want to offer just a more affordable option that is still kind of creative and cute for you guys. And I really like this type of mask. I'm not like the little folding one. They're okay. I don't like them as much. But yeah, so I like these. So... They are available now on the website. I'll link them down below. Um, I'll be making a few more tonight, I think. But I'll show you guys all the ones that I've made so far. And a little cute little montage. And then I'll probably show the, all of them at the end. All the masks that will be available. Okay, see you guys later. Mm -hmm.